multi-award winning actor and an all-round inspirational man, Kakiso Madupe, has had some of the biggest roles in the country's leading soapies, films and dramas. And to add to that, he also wears the hat of a radio host and a motivational speaker. Now, earlier this year, he released his debut novel, Along Came Takani, which explores infidelity in young marriages. Now, we're so excited to have him share his journey with us here today. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, on this Monday, public holiday in South Africa, welcome Kakiso Matupe. Yeah. I should actually give this to you. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Kakiso. Merry Thank Christmas. you so much for joining Thank us here you. on Afternoon Express. Have yeah. a seat. Woo. I want that. Woo. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> To give the people what yes. they want and we have heard everyone's outcry i know our viewers are very excited to have you yeah. in the loft i feel like i know you though yeah i feel like i've grown up watching you on tv watching your journey hearing you on radio oh, you make me sound old yeah but listen <laughs> you actually just took it up a notch because yeah. you've added an author to yeah. your incredible title yeah you wrote a book along came to Agani. Yeah. what is it about uh, look, it's, it's, it's a very controversial book. Obviously, it's about a guy who finds himself, you know, cheating. And it's, he's a good father, he's a good husband, and he's trying to get out of it. But oh. he can't, you know. But the book obviously just explores the, the, the miscommunication in relationships. Because I feel like there's just a lot of uh, unnecessary divorces, mm -hmm. you know, happening around. And uh, it's because people are not talking. So it's not just about men, but also yeah. women. Because... There's a, there's a little catch at the end, you know, because there's a hashtag. Okay, wait, I don't want yeah. you to give it away because we want <laughs> our viewers to go out and get the yeah. book yeah. and find out for yourselves how amazing the twist at the end is mm -hmm. because I want to find yeah. out about that. But you t touching on infidelity, I think it's such a sensitive subject. Yeah. And I think a lot of people get defensive yeah. when speaking about it. I mean, why did you choose infidelity? Look, I didn't choose it. <laughs> <laughs> it chose you. <laughs> well, it's happening, you know, it's yeah. happening. And, okay. and, and I think that infidelity is happening uh, for different reasons. You know, mm. it's, not, it's not like uh, women go out there to, to, to cheat or men go out there to cheat. Yeah. Some people are committed in, in their relationships, but there's just certain things that kind of lead them to get to that space. You know, and that's what the book explores. And, and it, it doesn't explore just from the man's side, but also from the woman's side, mm. because it happens. Yeah. Okay, my mind is kind of blown because yeah. right now I think it's December, it's silly it season. December, I'm telling yo, you, yeah. everyone knows that ish, your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or wife's yeah. phone might be off until January, <laughs> which is an cr incredibly crazy concept yeah. to think about. But as you said, it's happening yeah. right now. Yeah. So I think that it's perfectly placed to have you on the show this afternoon. Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> you made me sound like I'm... <laughs> no, 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 no. But that's yeah. actually what I want to dive into. Yeah. You are in an amazing, incredibly healthy, flourishing relationship right now. You've got yeah. two baby girls. I've got two girls. I've What's got two girls, been married for, for 12 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a good space, am I? Yeah, I am, yeah. You are in a good space. I mean, 12 yeah. years is nothing to be shy about. So first, yeah. congratulations from that. Thank but you. But within the 12 years, what do you think is the biggest lesson you've learned about relationships? Communicate, and bluntly so. You know, if there's something that you don't like, um, you must just come out and have a way in how you say it, you mm. know. I mean, I'm, I'm an actor, you know, and, and I deal with tone a lot. Mm. So it's, it's how we communicate our issues, you know, um, mm. finding it the right way to, to communicate to your partner if there's certain things that you don't like. And I mean, we also grow up and we grow up in different ways. You know, we forget that when we met, we were individuals and we, tr we formed this yeah. and we've had a family and now, as we grow, we don't ask cool more fun. Yes. You know, but then we always just gotta bring it back to kind of check on each other. You know, how far are you growing? How, you know, and, and where are you growing to? What are your dreams now? Because mm. we always just wanna go back to the same person that you met, you know, yeah. like uh, 10 years ago. I mean, and I think that's such an unfair concept, I always yeah, think. Yeah. I follow Jada Pinkett Smith on Instagram. Yeah. And she has this incredible series of videos where yes. she just basically <laughs> speaks about healthy relationships yeah. and exactly what you say, communicating. And she comes out with Will Smith. They come out and they talk about, you know, how you hurt me and when you did this and that, mm. you know. Um, and, and a lot of people, obviously, they are public figures. 
And, and I think they, they're doing a good job in, in kind of, you know, exposing that we need to talk. Yeah, and yeah. be honest, I find. Be honest. Yeah, be, be honest. honest. And work on yourself because when your, full is, when your cup is full, yeah. then you're able to feed into someone else's cup. Aha. But if your cup is empty, it's impossible to be able to be part of a healthy relationship. It is. So I truly do commend you and your wife. Yeah. And you've got two little daughters. Ah, Mantumbazan. Mantumbazan. Ah, Mantumbazan. I'm telling you, look, okay, in yeah. the African culture, and I yeah. think in a lot of other cultures, there's this misconception that people, they say, like yeah. standing through it, persevering through any type of ill, treat, Ill treatment in relationships, mm -hmm. which is just wrong. I mean, raising daughters, do you think that that's a healthy mentality to have? Are you, how are you going to teach them? I, I think that we've lost it. You know, when you talk about this whole Begazela thing? Yes. Uh, I think that uh, if you don't understand culture and 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 and, and what they meant in that way, mm. you know, because Tina see Tatala Pizu and we're like, yeah, if, if, if things are going wrong, you must Begazela. No. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, um, going back is culture was teaching us that we need to be patient with each other. Not to go to patience when, when things are going wrong. Oh. Patient with, with how we are growing. Patience with the little things that eat away at, at, at relationships. Yes. But while you're patient, you're also patient and you're fixing them. Not just begazela. You know, and I now we've that. taken it and we've just, you know, we just, we just ran with it and, and made it like a, a bad thing. I've actually never seen it from that way. Yeah. You're not, they're not saying it in the way that we have to just no. like keep up with ill treatments, but no. it just means as a human, be softer. Be softer. That's, be softer. That's, that's exactly what it meant. Get to put yourself into, in, into that other person's shoes mm. and understand where they're coming from. And actually, while you understand where they're coming from, you have an opportunity to teach them if they're actually going the wrong way. I, I feel like this is definitely a motivational speaker <laughs> speaking to me because I'm yeah. shook. I'm shook, but I'm so touched yeah. with everything that you do. And you are such an incredible ambassador for the Brothers for Life movement. Yeah. Tell me more about your involvement. Look, um, for me, I in 2017, I, I had set 17 goals for myself to achieve. And obviously wow. the book was one of them and getting into radio and doing all of those stuff, you know. Um, but one of them was for me to actually, you know, um, try and protect my wife from, 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 from cervical cancer, yeah. you know. And for me, I, I felt like, you know, um, how circumcision was being sold. It was sold as, as a more sexual thing, but mm. there was a health benefit, not just for ourselves, but also for our partners. And I got over 420,000 men to do it in one day. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That is absolutely yeah. incredible yeah. because I know coming from a family with men, strong men in our family, yeah. it's important to share the message about health. health. And in our communities, I think that the yeah. education isn't as up to par as where it needs to be. Yeah, and, and, but you see, that's, that's not their fault. You know, the fault is, is the media's fault because we, we want to sell things always through, you know, intimacy and, yes. you know, if, if you're not doing this, then awukom nandi, that's mm. what they say. You know, but there's health reasons for, for women, which brings us to the conversation between men and women. We need to find a way in how we can, you know, teach each other instead of us going, men are trash yes. or saying, you know, women are trash. It doesn't really solve the issue. It kind of goes back to when we grew up, there was this saying that if you point a finger, three fingers point back at you. Yeah. So it's, it's our job all to take responsibility for yeah. our own health, for our own lives, and for our partners. I feel like there's something so beautiful this yeah. time of year where we can be honest with each other, level with each other, yeah. and find the best out of each other. And have goals for the new year in relationships and saying, you know what, maybe we should go this way this year. Exactly. I actually yeah. want to find out more about your New Year's resolutions a little later on <laughs> in the show. So do stick around with us. We're giving incredible prizes away today. So I think you want to be a part of that. Yeah, please, please, yeah. <laughs> and also want to win. Oh. Ah, 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 nepotism. You can't win. <laughs> now, the next four days, we're going to be giving away absolute delight. Now, we're going to be giving away the best gifts that you can receive as we wrap up the year. Now, later on, we'll be opening up our lines so you can call in and stand a chance to win these incredible, amazing, stunning prezies. So look out for that. Now, after the break, we're cooking with Chef Clem as he shows us how to make a delicious homemade cheese crackers. See you after the break.